What's going on guys, Andrew Pillick Sports here. I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be making a video about the Phil Kessel trade rumors. Now before I start this video, please go subscribe to my buddy, um, Audi. You guys know him. He has a channel called The Audi Sportscast. He makes videos on there. He's posted a couple videos already, so go check it out. Please go subscribe. Let's get him to 100 subscribers. I know you guys can do that. I'll put the link in the description box. And if I don't remember to put it in the description box, please remind me because I'm an airhead. So um, thank you guys for watching another video. We're going to get right into this. Uh, the topic, obviously, like I said, Phil Kessel trade rumors. You guys see it in the title. This is crazy. Um, before I, again, quickly before I start, um, I've got a bunch of social media links. People have been asking me to continue to put it in the videos. Uh, because I haven't really promoted it at all um, because I didn't know if you guys would be interested but I have a snapchat now where you guys will get um, behind the scenes type things I'm going to be posting on there um, more often than I usually do so it's a Pillock Sports, Facebook, Andrew Pillock Sports and of course uh, on Twitter at Andy Pillock go uh, follow there I post on Twitter a lot so you guys can go check that out but the Phil Kessel rumors now at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to believe this I heard Phil Kessel talk about this with TSN, then I heard Pittsburgh talk about it with, you know, the media and whatnot, and he did an interview with uh, Rutherford, and I just, where is this coming from? Like, I don't understand where this is coming from. Now, we all know Phil Kessel, he's been a guy that's been in, you know, the light of the media for some time, and, you know, I'm, I'm not, that's not a knock against the media or anything like that. I want to be a part of the media one day, but Phil is an interesting character. Everybody knows that. I've been a big fan of him. Obviously, you guys can see I'm a Leaf fan. I'm sure some people are probably like, oh, not a Leaf fan making a video about Phil Kessel, but I was a big fan of him. He was very consistent. When's the last time he missed a game? He always is scoring big goals, and you know, he it did just didn't work out in Toronto. The trade helped, uh, helped both sides, and you know, Phil Kessel is a guy where I'd like to make a, a more extended video on this. I know Steve Dangle has a video where he freaked out when Kessel got traded, but um, it, he's just a guy that I've always appreciated what he's done. And if you look in the last two playoff series, two cups for uh, Phil Kessel, and I believe he's like first in almost every category for points and everything like that for playoff performers, and he just turns it on another notch when he gets into the playoffs. So seeing these trade rumors kind of confuse me a little bit now. I'm going to look it in, into it on both sides here. So first off, Pittsburgh doesn't need to trade him, okay? Do I think he's going to get traded? No, I don't think so. Is there going to be some trade talks? Probably. When stuff like this gets out by, you know, guys like Phil Kessel, the guy who is being involved, talking about it, and Pittsburgh saying stuff about it, there's going to be teams now coming and going, hey, you know what, let's just kick tires and see what they're looking for. And I think it's probably going to be a lot. Uh, I'm not sure where these rumors came from. Maybe a proposed, you know, trade offer was in the works and it was just kind of shot down. But it's always that one offer that starts a whole lot of rumors. They've they've won back-to-back -back cups. They could very well win a third one in a row. And I know a lot of people don't want to see that, but they very well could win a third one in a row. They have young talent coming up. They lost Flurry, but they have Murray, of course. Uh, two cups as a rookie, ridiculous. So losing Flurry hurts, but you know they've still got Murray. They've still got their big core, their big three: Kessel, Malkin, and Crosby. Of course, Crosby, the best player in the world. How could you not have a fighting chance when he's on your team? And they've got a, just an amount of talent just coming out of everywhere. Defensemen, of course. They've still got Latang anchoring their blue line there. Oli Mata, and I'm obviously going to forget people. Gensel came up and did a fantastic job. They they have guys everywhere. Shiri, we all know how good they are. We just watched them win back-to-back -back cups. So Phil Kessel being dangled around maybe to see if he can get back. Yeah, sure, you can listen. But that doesn't mean they have to do it. That's the thing that everybody gets mistaken about. Is when a name like that comes about, people are like, oh, it came out, he's getting dealt, the team doesn't want him, whatever. No, you, you got a guy like Kessel and teams are knocking. You go, okay, well, what do you got? And Pittsburgh doesn't have to say yes to those deals. So if they're getting back a King's Ransom and the deal will help them win another cup and it makes them look way better than they were before, of course, you, you take that deal. But if it's a deal that's going to be like, oh, Trade Castle will bring back another piece and this piece will help, but we'll kind of be at the same place. It's like, then, then why do it? Kessel's been great for Pittsburgh. The fans love him. And like I said, he's been consistent. He doesn't miss any games. You know, he's been the best playoff, arguably the best playoff performer in the last two Cups. And you're going to tell me 
that Pittsburgh's going to just be like, oh, well, let's trade them. No, like, they don't, people are like, oh, but the cap and all, like, they don't need cap space. Like, they already are good enough to win again. So why do you have to make a deal like that? And these rumors could just be a little bit of, you know, thoughts thrown out there. And like I said, one deal that could change all this stuff or one offer that could change all this. And that's probably what it was. And all this I'm trying to put together is basically just trying to wrap my head around which possible options could make me think that Pittsburgh would trade him. Now, here's the other side of this. Now, Phil Kessel had an interview with TSN and he said he's not he wouldn't be surprised if he was traded, it happens, whatever. That doesn't really trigger me at all, whatever like that. The other thing that kind of makes me go, okay, maybe they are listening a little bit, is Pittsburgh's GM saying, hey, well, you know, you can't say no player can't be traded because other than probably Crosby and Malkin, anybody on that roster can get traded, besides probably Murray as well. I mean, they need Murray in that. But anybody can get traded, and he doesn't want to be like, hey, Kessel, he can't get moved. But he's also said he doesn't expect them to move Phil. And he can listen. Like I said, he can listen. The The other thing that was brought up was the fact that Phil Kessel and Rick Tockett have an amazing relationship, and we all know that he is the new head coach of the Arizona Coyotes. I put that in one of my videos a couple videos ago. I think I was just talking about rumors and stuff like that, if you want to check that out. But people knew that they had a great relationship, and even Kessel said to TSN that that's his favorite assistant coach ever. They had a great relationship. Everything was good. So we were trying to connect the dots there and say, oh, maybe Phil Kessel is trying to get moved to... Arizona because he wants to go back with Rick Tockett and they have a good relationship. He can do whatever he wants, be a leader, whatever. Here's a couple things. First of all, Kessel loves Pittsburgh because he's not the guy anymore. He's not the guy everybody looks to and says, yes, he's going to do it. He's going to bring us to the promised land. Da -da 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 -da. No, he went to Pittsburgh and he was the third string guy, on forward at least. Then, if he gets moved to Arizona, suddenly Kessel's the poster boy. And I know they've got some good talent over there, but it's Phil Kessel. He just won back-to-back -back cups. He doesn't miss any games. He puts up a lot of points. He's a star. What, anybody wants to tell me no, you're wrong. Phil Kessel is a star. He puts up points. He doesn't miss games. And quite frankly, he's underrated in my books. You know, people like to call him fat. He's fast as hell. The guy can move. He's so quick on his feet. He's got a one of the best releases in the game, one of the best snapshot wrist shot combos that you'll ever see. And him going over there would make him a star. So where would that work out? Yeah, he gets Rick Tockett, but he gets all the extra crap that he didn't want. The media's not as heavy over there, but at the same time, he will be looked at as the guy. And I don't think Kessel wants that. He wants to help win. He wants to win. He's won two cups. He's he's happy where he is. You have to remember, he also has a no-move clause. He would have to waive to go to certain teams. And I'm sure maybe because of Rick Tockett, he would consider Arizona. But that's just a rumor I've seen. And I, and I wouldn't, you know, say that that's going to happen. And, you know, I just don't know if any of this crap is going to happen. I'm just reading and, you know, talking about what I see. But I just can't see it. So let me know what you guys think, Pittsburgh fans, anybody... All hockey fans, do you think that something like this could happen? Let me know. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have more hockey conversations with you. Go subscribe to the Audi Sportscast. Let's get them to 100 subscribers. And yeah, hopefully I will um, see more of you guys in my uh, videos coming up. And I'll be doing some streams, some live streams very soon. Um, let me know also in the comment uh, section what you guys want me to do live streams of. Um, another thing I was kicking around was, do you guys want to do a live Q&A with me and Audie at some point on my channel and on his channel? Um, regardless, I, I want to know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Go support other YouTubers. Peace.